Pure Dream is the latest company to be on the boycott list. Um, we've had videos of uh, the CEO saying, uh, he, he says that we should support Israel um, and being able to defend themselves on the same rhetoric and uh, opinions that many other companies have said which have made them be on the boycott list. Um, once the um, money is affected and less customers are using the gym and then they realise they need to do something about it. We'll, we'll of course see um, clarifications and or there will be huge discounts to uh, get customers coming back to the gym. As we've seen with many other companies, they either issue clarification statements, which isn't good enough, and then they also uh, reduce the price of uh, what they were charging normally. Um, for some reason, they want to uh, be on the wrong side of history, but they also want the money. You can't pay. Do you care about? Um, do you care about being on the wrong side of history? <coughs> Uh, in this case, supporting Israel, or do you care about the money? And as you can just see, even then, when they issue clarifications, things or something like this, they do not care about the Palestinians or doesn't see what they do. They only care about it is because they're losing the money. So the money is what's making them change their positions. It doesn't seem like uh, the Palestinian cause is changing them. It's the money, and uh, hopefully, uh, people will boycott them and others, and then they'll realize that they should not be on the wrong side of history. And the CEO would look silly and then he'd realise he should not be supporting people who are committing genocide and war crimes and much worse and saying that's defending them, themselves. That is not defending themselves. That is being being the enemies of humanity, being on the <coughs> being the oppressors and he's being on the wrong side of history.